वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लैटफॉर्म एंड इनिशिएटिव बाय साइंस पार्क सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी हियर वी आर विथ पार्ट टू फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स एंड द टॉपिक फॉर द सेशन इज सब्सटेंसेस इन डेली यूज हियर वी आर कवरिंग सिक्स चैप्टर फ्रॉम एस एस सी बोर्ड एंड फोर्थ चैप्टर फोर्थ चैप्टर फ्रॉम सी बी एस सी बोर्ड लेट्स रिवाइज वट वी हैव लर्न इन लास्ट सेशन फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस अराउंड अस एंड टू नो देम बेटर बाय स्टडिंग देम सो दैट वी कैन चूज करेक्ट मटीरियल फॉर करेक्ट एप्लीकेशन then we zoomed in into natural materials and man made materials we also classified natural materials into biotic and abiotic substances animal origin and plant origin then we started uh, to study glass industry first we saw history and important inventions made uh, in glass for years together and then actually we saw the industrial production process for glass with some beautiful pictures of glass making the sub topics for today's uh, video we'll see rubber industry and paper industry again with the same chronology first we'll see history of rubber then we'll see some important inventions and processes for rubber industry and then we'll see the current scenario of rubber industry and the market of rubber same is the thing we'll go, we'll do for paper industry we'll see history uh, of paper making where it started how it started then we'll see some important inventions and processes in paper uh, industry and we'll see finally the current industrial status of paper and market for paper industry let's start uh, with history and some important inventions in the area of rubber the first documented use of rubber was by the indigenous cultures of central america long back they used to make this rubber ball out of hevia tree and uh, used to play a game which was then known as meso american ball game looks similar like our basketball game then in 1839 charles goodyear an american inventor who was a self taught chemist and manufacturing engineer who discovered the vulcanization process for rubber <laughs> so it happens like that he accidentally dropped rubber and sulfur on a hot stove top he observed that it is charring like leather yet remain plastic and elastic vulcanization a refined version of this process transforms the white sap called as latex from the bark of the hevia tree into an essential product for the industrial age now let's see production of rubber rubber is very important plant to nature and to us too it is the most important product to come out of the ren forest rubber is an incredibly versatile all purpose material that is used across a huge range of domestic and industrial applications from the natural rubber derived from rubber trees through to an extensive array of synthetic rubbers there is always a rubber material for every occasion due to its vast molecular size polymers owe their unique properties and it is the reason that the german chemist hermann schrodinger uh, staudinger first referred to them in 1922 as macromolecules or giant molecules so yes i am sounding right to you rubber is a polymer rubber is a natural substance obtained by collecting 
द रबर मिल्क साइंटिफिकली नोन एज लैटेक्स ऑफ अ सर्टन ट्री रबर ट्री इज आर फाउंड इन एबेंडेंस इन ब्राजील लेटर दीज ट्रीज व प्लांटेड इन अदर कंट्रीज टू द बोटैनिकल नेम ऑफ दिस ट्री इज हीविया ब्रसिलिंसिस इन इंडिया द मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्शन ऑफ रबर इज इन केरला Now here I am showing you this picture of rubber plantation. Huge areas, huge acres of land has been planted by rubber trees. When the tree grows enough tall to produce this latex, then the hevia tree is partially cut here. This process of cutting the partial part of the outermost bark of the tree is called as tapping after scraping the outermost part of the tree milky liquid exudes from the wound of the tree here you can see they have paved the way so nicely that this milk rubber milk can come can can come through this pathway and this, then this metal plate is kept here in the bark so that the milk can come through this path and directly can be collected in a in a vessel kept down there though the biological function of this latex is still unclear why nature is producing this white milk one of the uh, postulation is that it may help wound healing by protecting the inner bark of the tree or it may serve some other biological functions we don't know it yet now let's see production of rubber from hevia tree latex the rubber milk is known as latex so here after we'll use this by this scientific word as latex first as we have seen in earlier uh, slide that they have uh, they do this tapping process and collect the latex in a day so in 5 to 6 hours they collect all the latex and then they do filtration process you can see similarly that we use in our daily kit kitchen uh, they have keep this sieve and they are pouring all the latex through that and they do a little bit of diluting of this latex with water after that they pour this latex in a rectangular aluminum tray and in which they add formic acid this process of adding formic acid and stirring it well and keeping it keeping the trays for longer time is called as co coagulation process now the batch is ready and kept for coagulation after few hours of coagulation you can see the thick layer of rubber is removed from the tray and now it is ready for another process which is called as sheeting and rolling process now after separating the layer from that aluminum tray they spread the the layer in this machine this is a roller machine so you can see this man is uh, putting this layer of rubber in between these two heavy rollers you must have observed how we uh, how they how they separate uh, sugar cane juice in the machine this is a similar kind of a machine that they use it here and you get a stretched uh, rubber sheet out of it after pressing it through the rollers they rinse all uh, the she rubber sheets with water and then they keep it for they hang it for drying in sunlight 
let's see chemistry behind it the process of addition of formic acid in rubber latex is called as coagulation process in chemical language this is called as an epoxidation reaction this helps in separation of rubber from natural emulsion and glycol is formed as a by product now i have a question for all of you you have to find out chemical formula for formic acid and write it down in your notebook i would be it would be great if you can find out some of the important properties of formic acid write it down in your notebook and we'll discuss about it in our discussion period let's get to know more details and importance of vulcanization process in rubber industry natural rubber is soft sticky and has less tensile strength to make the natural rubber more strong tough and lasting it is vulcanized now let's see this vulcanization process in detail which is used nowadays polymer chains let's first see the definition of polymer chains polymer chain is nothing but a long continuous chains formed by small interlinked chemical units so here you can see a long polymer chain of rubber that is produced after vulcanization now let's see in detail the vulcanization process natural rubber is mixed with 3 to 5% of sulfur powder slightly uh, uh, faint yellowish colored powder powder that you can get from market and then you have to mix it with your rubber and you have to heat it at 100 to 150 degree celsius it forms cross linking of sulfur atoms between two chains of rubber so here you can see this is a straight chain of rubber when you add sulfur into that the sulfur atoms get interlinked with the horizontal chains of rubber so like a staircase so you can jump from this chain to another chain from this to higher another chain with the ladder of sulfur here this is called as interlinking wide range of physical properties of rubber can be obtained by controlling the amount of sulfur in vulcanization process now these are all products which are formed from vulcanized rubber so from all these pictures you can understand the importance of discovery of vulcanization process in the story of rubber now let's start to know more about paper and paper industry by knowing history of paper some important inventions in the journey of paper industry and the current paper industry now let's see history and inventions in paper industry the word paper comes from the word papyrus egyptians invented paper by pressing papyrus strips together 2000 years ago chinese made paper by using silk called as qi but that used to be very expensive then again a chinese kai lun improved the paper making process by flattering and drying the pulp of finely chopped mulberry bark plants and fishing nets today wood chips are boiled with caustic soda or hydrogen peroxide to soften them and strip them in a paper making machine so let's see how we produce paper nowadays
the thrilling and exciting video it must be clear to all of you how paper is manufactured in the factories now from that video it was also clear to all of you that the raw material for making paper is nothing but wood so mother nature gives us raw material to make papers now just observe the cycle i am explaining it to you one by one once the paper is manufactured in the factory through uh, trucks and through a distributor they are they go for printing now there is another cycle for printing where we have to use ink some metallic plate some chemicals writers and journalists write down their own thoughts and stories publishers publish it and then finally the books or the newspapers go for printing now see this another circle where after printing the books through the retailer shop we buy the books or we read the newspaper so we are the end user of paper after we read the newspaper or after we study our book what do we do of that either we either that book or that paper newspaper go to garbage right so incineration process is the process is a waste treatment process or we can give that paper for recycling and instead of again cutting trees and using wood paper manufacturing or pulp manufacturing factories can use the used papers they can remove the ink from that paper recycle it and again can send it to paper manufacturing factory thus we can save we can contribute by saving our environment so let's end our session by giving you some activity yeah activity time now uh, you have to make your own paper now how you can make your own paper <gasps> you can experience the thrill of paper making but how to make your own paper you have to click on this link below follow the steps and make your own paper and show it to me at the time of the discussion now above link is also given in the description box so just follow the link see the video follow the steps and make your own paper bye bye for now